the uh, rain system is now turned on and the whole greenhouse has turned into a tropical rainstorm, you can see all the water washing off the leaves and everything becomes very, very wet. In fact, the whole greenhouse has got a feel of tropical rainforest. You'll see in a, in a minute the camera starts to steam up because of the humidity. But this is fantastic for the animals that live here. Loose in this greenhouse just now, there are uh, Geosisarma crabs, there are some lizards, Toki geckos, lots of cockroaches, some leaf cutting ant colonies, uh, some frogs. So all of these animals tend to be very active once the rain comes on. So if we start walking through the rain and getting really wet, you can start to get a feeling of just exactly the kind of setup that this is. The, the plants are very much growing naturally here. Originally they were planted, but they've grown to, this, to the extent where it becomes almost impenetrable in the paths. At the side of each of the paths, there are water-filled ditches, which are fantastic for the frogs and the crabs. We started off with about 20 Geosisarma crabs and now there's a very strong population and the paths are normally covered in youngsters. The rain uh, comes on at this time of year, maybe once every three days and stays on for three or four minutes. The key is that the water that is raining from the system comes from the pond. So instead of watering the plants with cold water, which chills everything and causes problems for the animals, the water's coming directly from the pond, so it's coming out at 25 degrees, so it's perfect conditions. Just down the bottom there, before the camera steams up too much, you can see the, the rock work round the window in the pond. This is a, a spiral ginger that's about to flower. So we've got some examples of, of plants all over the place. <laughs> 